What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and we're going to kind of stay on the topic that we started last time with the reels and stuff but this time we're going to focus primarily on the hardware itself and I'm not really talking about the double enders, I talked about that a little bit on the last video. We're going to look more at just the single swivel bolt snaps and I'm not going to get too much into what size of bolt snap you need as far as whether it's a big one, a little one, a stainless steel, a brass one. And of course, if you're in salt water, you do want stainless steel, but brass works fine for freshwater applications. But you decide what you want to work or use. Um, I've got one here. This is just my spare flashlight. This is a Tobitech Fusion 260. This is the one that I clip and keep banded down on my uh, shoulder strap. But I've got a little bolt snap on it. Uh, sometimes, of course, I'll put them on my gauges, whether it's a dive computer or a single set of gauges. I'll I'll tackle one to there. Uh, if you dive a long hose configuration and you got your hose, say it's coming over your shoulder or whatnot, and you need to switch to a different system, maybe if you're in a side mount system, you want to be able to clip this one off. I'm going to show you how we can actually tackle the uh, bolt snap to the hose assembly itself without damaging the hose or anything like that. We're not going to be using o rings and, and zip ties and all that. We're actually going to be using the excess line that we did from the, the real video that we just made. Remember I told you about taking off a certain amount of line so you can get access to the holes and then I reminded you not to throw the line away. Well, that, here's why. We can use the cave line uh, kind of as a multi-purpose thing. So I went ahead and cut me a little length off here. I just pulled out, it's about what, two foot or so. Um, and you wanna make sure that the ends don't fray on you. So just take your lighter, kind of singe the hinges there. So I just got them singed up a little bit, that way they don't fray. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and pick out what bolt snap. I just grabbed one here off the table I've got. And I want to find the center of the line. And all I'm going to do is simply take the line, push it through the bolt snap like so. Now to cinch it down, I'm just going to create kind of like a girth hitch around it, if you will. And now essentially my line is attached to the bolt snap. Now what I need to do is attach it to whatever, the flashlight, the hose, whatever I'm gonna be attaching it to. If you'll come in close here, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the bolt snap and I'm gonna lay it down flat and I'm gonna keep the line a little bit separated so I don't get it mixed up or anything. And then whatever I'm gonna to attach to, I'm gonna lay on top. Now where I'm actually gonna attach is inside that little swivel area there. Uh, you can go on top of the line if you're not careful though, it will wear the line down a little bit quicker. So I'm actually gonna go in that center point there and all I'm going to do is just simply take one side of it, pull over the hose, and then through the bolt snap. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to take the other one, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go over the hose, through the bolt snap. All right. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to pull the line back over the hose, and I'm going to do this two or three times just until I feel I have enough of the line so that it's secured. So I'm going to go with the right side pull it over. I kind of like to dress mine out. You don't necessarily have to dress it out, but um, if you're OCD, it looks good if you dress it out. So I'm going to take this one under again, up and around the bolt snap once again, pull it down, dress it out, get all the slack out just like that. And you can start to see that that tackling using the line is going to be a good secure connection of the bolt snap itself. Now I'm going to do this one more time, except the third time I do it, I'm not going to be coming through the bolt snap where I've got it coming through. So what I'm going to do is pull the line around one more time. Okay, pull this one around. Now this time, I'm actually going to cross the line over like so, okay? And instead of going through the bolt snap, I'm going to go around the bolt snap. So to do this, I'm going to simply turn the bolt snap over. And I'm going to pull the line around just like that. Now what I'm going to do is just a simple overhand knot. And I'm going to try to get it as tight as I can. Just like that. Now I'm going to flip the bolt snap back over. Pulling the line back around this side. And then I'm going to do just your basic square knot. If you don't know how to do a square knot, they're very simple. If you remember left over right and then right over left or vice versa. So I'm going to take the left side. I'm going to go over the right and cinch down like that. And then I'm gonna take the right and I'm gonna go over the left and cinch down. And that makes a basic square knot, all right? 
Now from here, essentially the bolt snap is attached to the line. It, it does still allow the regulator, the second stage to swivel. It allows the bolt snap to swivel. It's not gonna get in the way. Um, and you may wanna slide yours up a little bit. I tend to like to have at least one fist width, if you will, between the bolt snap and the regulator. So it's really personal preference where you wanna set it. I just showed you here because it gave me a good attachment point. Now to get rid of this, because we don't want this as an entanglement hazard, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down to say about three eighths of an inch, about that much of the line. Now I'm still not gonna leave that the way it is. All I'm gonna do is simply set the line on fire, if you will, and I'm gonna let it burn down just until the knot, and then I'm gonna flatten that knot out. So once I get the line going, now if you use your reel, as much as I do, sometimes the line will stay wet and it don't necessarily burn. But as it burns down, just simply take the lighter, flatten it out. That keeps the line itself from fraying and it's also gonna keep that knot from coming undone. So I'm gonna get this one, just get a little flame going. Kind of let it burn itself down all the way to the knot. Once it gets there, of course, just take my lighter or maybe your scissors or something and just flatten it out. That way the knot is good and secure. It will not come undone. The line itself will not fray. And then I've effectively attached a bolt snap. Now, like I said, if you want it to look a little bit prettier than what I got, then of course you will dress this out. Dressing out just simply means you'll pull the line over until everything's nice, smooth, and flat. I don't get too caught up on looks as far as that goes, so that little gap there doesn't really hurt my feelings. But guys, that's how you attach a bolt snap to whatever system you want to use. If you want to attach a bolt snap to your flashlight, you would do essentially the exact same thing. Maybe you want to do it to your gauges. You're going to do the exact same thing as well. So guys, as simple as that, you can take a basic bolt snap, attach it to whatever you need. A hose, a gauge, a flashlight, a set of slates, whatever you want to attach to your system, you want to put a bolt snap on, that's how we tackle that system using basic cave line or reel line that we took off our reel when we set up our reel for use. So guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you got any further questions on reels or bolt snaps or uh, double enders, anything like that, simply put it down in the comment section below. As always, check back each week for a new video. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.